What's up? What's up? What's up, America? It's your boy Chuck Johnson, aka Kid Thunder. So, you got politicians out there who, who, who wants, and this is mainly people on the left. You know, some conservatives are obviously trying to push the agenda too. You know, on on the talk, on the talk of. Uh, banning guns and and you know dismantling the NRA because of the recent uh mass shooting that took place in Florida like about two weeks ago. I'ma set the record straight. Hear me out. I've read a Facebook meme that says this verbatim the problem is not guns it's hearts without god homes without discipline schools without prayer and courts without justice you think it's safe to ban guns from law-abiding citizens How the hell are people going to defend themselves? Like, straight up. Like, if, God forbid, uh, they're in a jam, like, you know, say, for instance, like, if a perpetrator is in somebody, is in somebody's home, you know, like, an intruder is in somebody's home, you know, what, what are we supposed to do? Call 911? No. I mean, sometimes, I mean, even Sheriff David Clark, I mean, former Sheriff David Clark from Milwaukee, uh, you know, he he literally said that it's best for you guys to take, you know, gun training courses, you know what I'm saying? But, and it's also, you know, because if you look at it, calling 911, you know, it's not the best of ideas all the time. You know, because what if what if what if law enforcement shows up too late? You know, you know, you'll be at a point where you're defenseless. You know, <laughs> the problem is this. All those kids who want to talk about that there there needs to be a ban on guns. They don't know how it is when it comes. To, they don't know how would it feel to live in a shithole inner city like Chicago. I'm from I'm from the far south. I used to reside in the far south side of Chicago. Like I said in another video. I know people who got shot and killed by perpetrators in the area. Almost had a family member who almost got shot in the head years ago when she was coming home from church. And thankfully the bullet, and this was, I mean, by a perpetrator. And thankfully the bullet missed. But to say that there needs to be a ban on guns no, instead of banning guns, ban the perpetrators. Ban, ban, ban evil people. Yes. If you want, I'm just saying this, people. The. The left has gone extremely berserk, okay? And they're constantly ramming this whole, you know, gun control thing down our throats. And it seems like it'll never stop until they try to get their way. Well, they got their way in some of these inner city areas. 
where you have to worry about dodging bullets every, every single day. Where you have to worry about if a perpetrator tries to break into your home, you know, attempt to steal or attack you. Where you have to worry about a perpetrator try to steal, try to uh, carjack you right after you got, right after you got uh, rear-ended. Yeah. Because they do that stuff in Chicago, I'll tell you that much. You know, while we worry about, well, the, the media and the left like to worry about an isolated incident like this mass shooting that took place two weeks ago. Why not worry about the ongoing crime rate that goes on in our inner cities every single day? Especially since those crime ridden cities are nothing more than just democratic strongholds. I've said this time and time again, and I put it to you this way. Many of these inner cities that I talk about, Needs no introduction. <laughs> Straight up. You know, I read a I read an article, I read a news article the other day, and um, this was about a couple of perpetrators in downtown Chicago, where where they're starting to you know attack attack certain but you know, bypassing individuals that will go in the subway on the subway station there. I mean, and isn't it enough that, uh, we, isn't it enough that they need the, the media should obviously focus on those who commit the crimes rather than blaming it on a, inanimate object <sighs> because guns don't kill people like I said like I said in another video and I'm going to quote my main man Chris Tucker again guns don't kill people stupid motherfuckers with guns kill people straight up So the whole idea of talking about banning guns is absurd. These leftist individuals are are extremely clueless. You want to talk about banning guns? How about talking about you know banning illegal immigrants from you know from the cities you want to make sanctuary? I'm looking at you, Rahm Emanuel. How about getting the criminals off the streets if they are out there trying to commit more crime? Get them back in the joint, okay? Because <laughs> and while we at it, what about the abortions? You know, I was watching Brittany Hughes on on MRC TV on YouTube, and she was talking about this. If you want to ban on guns, but you like to, but you like to, uh, I believe like, but you like to have abortions, you know, make people have abortions and whatnot. You're being a hypocrite. And I agree with her wholeheartedly because people on the left are literally nothing more than just hypocrites. You know, <laughs> ask yourself, ask yourself, you know, liberals, if you want, if you want to ban guns, why do you put Planned Parenthood facilities in predominantly black neighborhoods. You know, because you know why? You want to, you liberals want to kill off my generation. You know, my future, gen 
future generation, future generations of my people. Real, real talk. I'm Chuck Johnson, aka Kid Thunder, signing off. Be good to each other. Please support. Please support me. The link is in the description. I'm out.